keep the armor anyway. Actually, I don't think I can kill Aatrox early anyway, and I shouldn't be trading. So I'm gonna do, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do, let's do health. And we have CC, not really. Let's do it. Bloodline. And I'm probably gonna start Doran's Blade this game compared to Longsword. But the thing, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the thing with Doran's Blade, you just need to be so much more, you need to be so much more careful with like the trades. Rush Black Cleaver? Nah. I don't like that. The reason, the reason, is because if you rush Black Cleaver, you don't have enough AD, enough damage to make it, everything work. I've actually been like wondering, like if me going Warhammer early has been like an like a smart thing to do. I think since I'm rushing Death Dance anyway, and I want more damage, it's probably better just to go Pickaxe if I just want pure damage at the start. Because CDR doesn't really matter the first level or so, or like the first few levels. Because you're not going to be able to, even if you get a Warhammer, you're not going to be able to extend your Qs entirely. But if you if you go in for a trade and you manage to kill your opponent with like a pickaxe or even just three long swords, it's probably better than doing like the warhammer. Grass getting picked up. Thanks, man. I don't know how you're going to get 45% CGI without a black paper. So I'm thinking if I get, if it, if it, we're inspiration at least, inspiration 10 is 5, so I'll have 15%. I'll do CDR Brutes 25%, Death Dance 35%, and then one Lethality item, which is what I've been wanting to test out anyway. I'll have 45% CDR from that. I don't, I don't really plan on building black cleaver unless their team is like just pure tanks and I end up having to armor shred for my team. This game could, for example, if, if for example, if I had a Zen mid lane, and my team was like pretty AD heavy, I would have to go Black Cleaver just to help them out. Can you extend your Q at 35% CDR? Yeah, you can. It leaves it with like one second, I think, CD, but one second is enough. Purchase RP for mobile pay doesn't give you the RP but takes credit. You should just message for support for that man. It'll probably help you out. Do you want to play for him before the enemy team picks it? I don't mind if the enemy team picks it. Because I can play J well, Renekton, Poppy, whatever the hell like I just decide to play against her and do fine. I don't mind people picking Ribbon for me. I'll pick I'll pick Camille as well. I can give it really a try, pick Jax. I know how to beat Ruben. I did six hours ago, still no answer. Oh, you gotta wait, man. It's patient, this game. I think they usually answer you back in like 20, like the first 24 hours. Camille is my second favorite champion to play. I just feel like she's so weak, so I barely end up playing her, because, at least for top lane, like, I don't know, she feels really, really hard to play, especially against champions like Jace and all this shit, like, Jace, Renekton, even Kel, like, when they pick Kel, I, you can pick Camille into her, but it doesn't feel like I can punish her as hard, you need jungle pressure with Camille, I think that's it, if you play Camille, 
you need to have a jungler with you most of the game because you set up ganks super well. But it's just annoying that she has to work with someone to, to like work at her full potential all the time. Riven, for example, you don't need anyone. You just fucking play Riven and shit on everything. I think I might be going against Nico or Kale this game. So this is fine. I think this is a fine setup against that. I just need to start Doran Shield. Is this CLG thing? Thank you. Doran Blade if it's Kale? No. Doran Shield. Doran Shield if it's Kale. Because she still tries to poke you down with like little abilities there. And I was talking to Broken Blade yesterday. Actually, some of you guys probably saw it yesterday when he messaged me. He said that you don't fight Kale level 1. Apparently Kale beats like every champion level 1. You fight her after level 1 and then she's weak until 7. Her level 1 is just annoying though. So you, should, you, should, you, should, you should just not fight her. I don't think that's box box chat. There's like this guy has like the same name ish, but like I don't think that's him. Well, I don't think Boxbox plays at this time of the day anyway. He usually plays like later, uh, oh, oh, probably like six. I, I always see a uh, catch him streaming. I think like at six p.m. EST or so. When I finish my stream, like a couple hours after, I always see him playing. I didn't want to fight her to one on her on like her wave, but she just walks up like that, like through there. I'll get that free damage on her. I left her murder you if you saw Shardusha versus Kale. It's fine. I can, I still I already have enough damage to kill her. I don't need Longsword. I mean, don't fight her level 1 in the minion wave, because she kites you really hard, but... but the, the other thing, Broken Blades doesn't start that ability, the one that she started this game. She st he starts the uh, the movement speed one, and just kites me around.
green kid at level 1, she just carry at 6. Chat, I, pr I actually played that matchup against LCS pros, and they specifically told me not to fight her level 1. I think I'm gonna listen to them. I played it against the 2, and it, they just kite me like fucking crazy level 1. You can't really kill her level 1. It, it also depends on what skill they pick. I think I'm gonna listen to them. <laughs> TP, I like it. I'm gonna reset here to be healthy, come back with a long sword and pots. There's a lot of misconceptions with matchups in the Rayla. So it's like, oh no, the champion sucks, you just kill him anytime you want, you know? Like, no, it doesn't really work that way. A lot of matchups have this little hidden like tricks or even just like level um, discrepancies that people don't really know. Like how much damage they can do. Isn't the biggest misconception that Riven versus Renekton matchup? Riven versus Renekton matchup. Okay, so if people think that Renekton shits on Riven. It's true. Riven, Renekton shits on Riven. But Riven can still outplay him, and there's certain levels in the matchup where you can actually even catch the Renekton off, off guard. And, uh, you know, if Riven uh, somehow manages to get a lead, Renekton actually has a hard time. The thing is, um,. If Riven has 3 kills, for example, Renekton is 0-3, he can still come back and kill you. If Riven's 0-3 and, and Renekton is 3-0, there's no way Riven kills him back. It's not a thing. It's not happening. Wait, Riven thinks with 17 months? Fucked up so hard, my Q. No! What the fuck? I was I was just messing with them to stay with them. I fuck my Q just fucking went backwards there. I'm so dumb. Chat, you guys didn't see anything. Relax, it's fine. You guys saw absolutely nothing. Alright, ulti and ignite. 
I gotta kill I gotta kill a big fat LP now, just for what he did to me there. Or what I did to myself, I should say. Where is Kha'Zix? I wanna kill him. He already took his top side, he's bot side. so far in street um i'm trying to think about it because i do have i think i have a little bit more city on now i would only ha i only have five percent city or extra right now than uh, than i would normally have the thing is once i reach level 10 i think i get a little bit more city or with the other one i think Holy shit, oh he's maxing W, okay. Top lane, yeah. I want to go top lane against the cow. Still on Spotify plugin? Yeah, there is Alpha. What are you talking about? It's just not in game. Should I put it for in game as well? Yeah? Okay. Let's put this here to the side. No Kha'Zix, I'm leaving dude. Fuck off, buddy. Put it where other people have their accounts, like between the inventory and the map. Yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I don't think I had any other place to put it. That wouldn't look weird. I'm still going Death Dance first, I just get the lethality, like the Dirk, just for the extra, a little bit of extra damage early, that's all. Jungle champion you say is the most annoying fed? Hecarim. I already have to think about it, right? At least like in the current meta. Hecarim is the most annoying for me. Rank 322 is a challenger, you shitter. Well, my, my other account is like top 10, man. Why so hostile? Also, this account is Challenger. I think it promotes. I just, I just think it hasn't updating on your screen yet. So hostile. Wait, I gotta wait for my Balin to come up here now. Don't take it so serious, brother. Nah, I'm not taking it serious. Come on. What do you mean? 
Right, I'm hitting bottom after this wave. It just seems weird. Counter, nope. I fucked up. I blame chat. I was looking at chat. Challenger and Ace like mid diamond and LAN, so you got some work to do. I don't think so, I got rank 1 on LAN, and it was boring as hell. I think Challenger and LAN is like diamond 4 on NA. Which is kind of shitty, but it was so boring playing over there. I did meet a, little, I, I did meet a, a lot of really cool people though when I played there. With LAN, it's a LA, the Latin American server. Shut down. Latin American North. A lot of my friends that were like D3, D2, and NA, just because they wanted backpacks and jackets and stuff, they uh, they transferred to the LAN server and then they got it there. So, a lot of my diamond friends have challenger backpacks and. All that, all that good stuff. Thirty-one percent level ten. Yeah, so it feels pretty much, pretty much the same. Except I think I would have. Let me see, ten. 30. I, I would have like a little bit more. I think I have a little bit more percent if I had the. Uh... But this is kind. Of, this is kind of what I had last game, no? Remember, I do have CDR boots. This is what I had last game, except that um, last game I didn't have the CDR shard put in. So I would have a little bit more CDR, probably like five, four percent more. It's not bad. Let's see how much I can extend my Qs with 31% of city are though. Let's see how much I can do that. 31% of city are leaves me at two seconds. Yeah, two seconds is not bad. Oh, I could have bought another longsword. I, I got distracted looking at this thing. But, I don't know, it's really valuable to get it right away. The good thing about this is that since I go inspiration for 5% of CDR extra, it means I can cap at 45% of CDR compared to just 40% with transcendence. I would like to know how I was inside her or like a little bit past her and her ulti hit. I would like to know how that happened. Stopwatch? Nah, I'm saving the stopwatch for like a, a team fight. Do you memorize when your Q finishes or do you look at the Q timer? Um, with 40% city R, I know it comes up right away, so I don't need to memorize it. Like, with depending on how much percentage you have, I know that for 15% you used to get it like five seconds. It depends on power spikes if you want to learn them. Yeah, 
It's just not gonna do that well if you're gonna rush back to the strange the city. Yeah. yeah, I'm not rushing back to there. I'm testing lethality builds for the, like the next few days, at least after death. I think this is really something I was like not doing before, or like that, that I didn't test well enough. Full lethality, just pure lethality without like AD or lifesteal is just bad, I think. I think I needed to add Death Dance to the mix and Last Whisper. I'm surprised they're still playing this game, they should have surrendered a while back. This big fat LP really wants to try to play, like win this game, even though it's like, I don't think it's winnable for their team. Alright, big foul P, I see how it is. He's trying to get all the deaths on me, man. He's trying so hard to like win this game for his team, but it's like This is not a one this is not a one man show, Big Foul P. You need your team to do well as well. What do you about the funnel strat? Should it be in the game? Um, against the funnel strat? If I'm Riven, I'm fine with it. I kill them both. <laughs> I don't care. If uh, if I'm any other champion that doesn't have that many tools, you just lose the game. It's kind of rough. That's on Riven versus the Olaf matchup. Riven wins really hard. Olaf wins level 1, Riven wins the rest of the levels. Unless Olaf somehow manages to get a lead somewhere. Let us end the game, please. Gotta move on to more LP. She's the only one that's fed on her on their team and she's just targeting me man. She just wants to ruin my KDA. Ruined. You should just play with Ignite every game in Loilo? Yeah, absolutely. I, I do personally when I do on rank to challenger climbs, I do Ignite all the way until um D2, D1, MMR. Saying Riven wins level 2, that's just not you, not everyone can do as good as you. I mean, I'm not factoring in player skill, I'm factoring in perfect play. Or well, near perfect play. Like every matchup you shouldn't look at it. Oh well, Faker says that Lissandra beats Fizz or whatever. It's like, well, you should you should probably learn to the point where like Faker or how he plays it and then copy it, because then it becomes true. Because a bronze player, for example, loses a matchup that's a counter matchup in Oyo, you, 
can't just say, oh, well, you know. The champion doesn't counter mine because, you know, it, it doesn't work like that. I'm not that one player in high That doesn't make sense. Just maybe he'll be streaming by the time I get back home. Alpha, most likely it will be. I'm streaming until 6 p.m. EST, so like I still have like six hours to go. Eller top, thanks for the sun. Wayne drops. This guy is always just pretty. He's actually been doing really good in every game I've seen him playing Cho'Gath. How much LP did I get? You're bringing the room page? I think the room page is fine. Um, I'm trying to think though. Like, honestly, I think it's better than Transcend.